What's up guys, JNO here, and today something a bit different because there is no Premier League this weekend, it's the international weekend break and I'm going to be covering the England national squad, who has been picked, who I think Roy Hodgson will put in the team and who I would put in the team. Your secrets if you really look at yourself you would be speechless what happened to being doctors and teachers what happened to being your brother's keeper nowadays kids more worried about the so i love watching england play it's the one team i can be passionate about ever since i was a kid unfortunately my boyhood team they got moved to a different city which means i don't support them anymore and passion wise, England is the team I'm the most passionate about. Which is why I feel like my opinion sometimes can be less biased than others as far as watching the Premier League goes. But England is the team that I've watched ever since I was a kid. It's the team that I've always felt passionate about. So whilst it's bad that the Premier League has taken a break and I'm going to miss it for a weekend. I love watching England play and we have an international game week where we are playing San Marino first which should or used to be a goal drought. I remember back when I was a kid, we used to destroy San Marino like five, six, seven nil. That doesn't seem to happen as much anymore. Maybe they've improved, maybe we're not as good as we used to be. I'd seem to think it was the latter, but let's just have a quick look at the squad that England are gonna be repping. By the way, if you like the idea of this series, like covering the England team, which I can do during the, the next European Championships as well, please smash that thumbs up button. Anyway, we have Jack Butland, Joe Hart and Tom Heaton in goal. Tom Heaton is a surprise to me. Um, he did alright last season in the Premiership for Burnley, but I wouldn't have expected him to be called up to the uh, international team yet. Jack Butland and Joe Hart, those are decisions that make sense considering the other two good England goalkeepers, Forster and Foster, are both injured. So no problems with the pick of goalkeepers there. We then have Nathaniel Klein, Kieran Gibbs, Luke Shaw, Phil Jagielka, John Stones, Chris Smalling and Gary Cahill. Now my question is where's the second natural right back in that defensive uh, squad? Nathaniel Klein is a natural right back. I suppose he may be thinking Chris Smalling and John Stones can both do a job there. But we should be finding two players for every position that that is their position and they're going to do a good job there. Nathaniel Klein is the only natural right back there. Kieran Gibbs isn't playing, so I'm not sure how he gets picked. And uh, other than that, those are probably the best English uh, centre-backs that you can pick at the moment. Midfielders, Ryan Mason, Ross Barkley, Michael Carrick, Raheem Sterling, James Milner, Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain, Fabian Delph and John Joe Shelby. Now, I'm really happy that John Joe Shelby got picked. He's looked really good for Swansea recently. Ross Barkley has looked good. On form at the moment. Raheem Sterling has looked good. Fabian Delph, well Fabian Delph hasn't even played in the Premier League this season yet but I know Roy Hodgson likes him and he's one of the main midfielders for Roy Hodgson so I'm not surprised he's picked. Ryan Mason has been good but does he deserve an England call-up? In my eyes he doesn't. James Milner, standard, he's a versatile player, a hard-working midfielder, I can see why he was picked. Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain, he, he did well in the Charity Shield, he hasn't done much since. And Michael Carrick is a good solid midfielder that will sit back and uh, string the passes for you. Roy Hodgson does have a habit of picking players that aren't doing well for the club. And then they do do alright for country. Uh, Andros Townsend is one of those that he picks quite a lot, who isn't always playing for Tottenham. But then he scores some screamers for England. So, I'm not an international manager, so I suppose I can't judge too much, but some of those players I wouldn't have picked. I personally would prefer to pick players that are playing and that are on form, but that's my opinion. Uh, Forwards-wise, we've got Fia Walcott. I'm not sure I count him as a forward. Uh, Jamie Vardy, Wayne Rooney, and Harry Kane. To me, that is potentially one of the weakest forward lineups I've seen for England, purely because Wayne Rooney and Harry Kane are not on form at the moment. Jamie Vardy is and we'll see how he does. But Fia Walcott is also not on form either. Your on form strikers, Jamie Vardy, and then you've got three out of form strikers, and I wouldn't even consider one of them a striker. But that is the team. We are now gonna look at what I believe Roy Hodgson will pick as his starting 11. Okay, so I believe this right here will be his starting 11. I believe he will go with Kane, Rooney, 
up front, which is a very out of form strike partnership, with Raheem Sterling sitting just behind, then with Fabian Delph and Milner midfielders with Carrick just sitting back a bit more than the two of them, then Luke Shaw on the left, Klein has to go on the right, Jack Yelker and Kay Hill, the experienced centre back, and then Joe Hart in goal. Now I've picked that line up purely because of the players he's picked in his squad, and I know he has played this formation before, but that's not the squad I would go for. So let me show you the squad I would pick if I was the England manager. Okay, first off we'll start with the back line. Because our first game is against San Marino, I would still put Shaw in at left back. I think he's the future for us in that position. I would still put Klein at right back because we don't have a right back. But I would go with Smalling and Stones as the centre back pairing. Smalling is doing okay and he scores goals. He's one of the best scoring centre backs in the Premier League in my opinion. Uh, he just pops up in the right place sometimes when the ball is in the box. And Stones could be the future for us, could be a future England captain. We have to wait and see. But against San Marino, give these type of players the chance. Because we should win no matter who we put in the starting 11, strictly speaking. And I will look pretty silly if we somehow manage to mess it up. And then I've gone with Jack Butland in goal. He's been on form, give him his chance in a proper... A competitive game. Let's have a look at the midfielders. We're going to go with John Joe Shelby needs to get a chance to prove himself on the international scene. So I would put him in with Carrick. Have them hold back a bit compared to Ross Barkley who has been informed. He could be a big player for us in the future. So let's start giving him that chance to play. And this is where I might get slated but we're going to go on to the forwards and you're going to look at me and think why are you leaving out some of these players. Okay. So I have actually gone for Jamie Vardy up front. Yes, I know a lot of you will be looking at me thinking, why on earth are you not picking Rooney or Kane? Neither on form, it's against San Marino. We should win anyway. So give Jamie Vardy that chance up front. You can always have some of these players on the bench to come in. Put the Ox on the right, purely because I didn't know who to put on the right. And Sterling on the left. Sterling has been in, uh, he could put a few more chances away but he has been playing well in that Man City team and then the Ox I just think he hasn't had as many chances as Philly Walcott so that is why I put him in. Anyway guys that is my England international weekend review for the San Marino game I will do another one for the game after the San Marino game please like and subscribe if you're enjoying this new series and also, if we hit 10 likes, I will build the team I would pick and play a game on FIFA Ultimate Team with it. And we'll see how we do before the England San Marino game. Anyway, guys, it's been JNO. Thank you for watching. And remember, stay certified.